how are you? So uh, I know this is supposed to be a cardio video, but I'm actually going to swap it out with an upper body stretch. Um, so feel free to repeat one of the previous cardios we've done or do anything else you like, but uh, I just thought I'd sneak this in because we do a lot of um, workouts or a lot of things in our workouts that require uh, a lot of upper body strength, all the planks and you know, you know the girl. So anyways, uh, I thought it would be helpful to have this in your tool belt for uh, things that you can access, um, like, you know, stretching and recovery and stuff like that. So um, definitely uh, star this video, keep it in your uh, in your file, along with the one that I posted on Monday with the, with, um, the lower body stretch. So this one, this one complements that one very well. Just keep them both uh, on file and uh, do them as often as possible. <laughs> so anyways, um, but this is gonna be a, a very tame, mild video, uh, so enjoy it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start seated. So I'm gonna start, um, there's a few people in here, so I'm gonna talk a little low. But I'm just gonna start with some basic neck rolls, but um, I don't just do the neck roll, I'm gonna show you how I'm incorporating my arms into it so I can really lengthen and get uh, a nice long stretch. So starting seated, sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back and down and stretch those arms kind of like into a low V shape. So even just sitting here, you should start to feel a stretch through your neck and your shoulder just by extending and stretching through those fingertips. And tip your head into the left shoulder and just kind of stretch through the fingertips. And you can wiggle through the fingers if you like. And then here, just roll the head forward, take it over to the other side, stretch through that arm. So really extend all the way through the fingertips. And again, I'm going to roll the head, as you roll the head, let the weight come forward very slowly so you feel that run um, through your upper back and shoulder blades as you roll the neck. Now here, I'm just going to go ahead and play around the rotation of my arms. I'm going to rotate that hand so the thumb is slowly starting to turn back and the palm is up. And now push that palm back in that, you know, into that diagonal still. So I'm rotating through the arm. It's almost like I'm wringing out those muscles. And now still keep the stretch, slowly rotate the arm the other way, so slowly rotate the palm up. There's just so many muscles running through your neck and shoulders that it's really nice to kind of take your time and slowly get these rotations in. Now rotate that palm down, I mean the palm up, and then slowly roll the head forward. And now just rotate that palm down and slowly take it to the other side. And now same thing on this side. I'm stretching the arm and the palm is down. And now I'm going to rotate the hand so that that palm is coming up and the thumb is pointing back. And now stretch that arm as you drop the head to the side. And just kind of play around with it. Feel it. it might even feel good to gently push back on the arm. You'll find those spots that kind of need a little extra attention. <laughs> and now slowly rotate the palm up. Really stretch through that arm as you tip the head to the side. And then one more time, rotate the arm, stretch through that arm, and just slowly roll the head forward. Ooh, and then stretch through both arms. If you need to, you can take it again on each side. I know I feel like I always need a little bit extra through here. And then we're good. Now I'm gonna extend my um, left leg out to the side. This is gonna work through our side and down through our lats even down into the hip if you really extend through the arm. So reach your arm up like someone's grabbing your arm and pulling you. So really pull, 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 pull. And now take it up and over. And now stretch the arm. So instead of forcing your body down, stretch the arm and dial this right hip down into the ground like it's a drill. So drill that hip down and then stretch the arm. And now here you can get a nice little stretch just by doing that. You can do a little bend and press and press and you should feel a really nice stretch all the way down through your side. Now here, my palm's facing forward. I'm gonna press that arm and now scoop the belly and rotate the chest down. And now as I rotate the chest down, I'm gonna rotate the palm up like I'm holding a plate. Scoop your belly in tight and now gently press the plate forward. And you can release a little release, a little press. And this is the one you're gonna feel down through your lats. So it's this nice, huge muscle that runs down um, that side of your back there. Again, press. Now hold that plate out. Really push 
the right hip into the ground, scoop your belly in, push that arm out now as you're reaching and pushing the arm out. Now reach and rotate at the same time. So keep pushing, 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 rotate, 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 feel it all the way through your side. And open up. <laughs> and we'll just take one more rotation. So here, scoop the belly in, rotate down, pull the belly in, rotate, palm up, push the plate out, and again, reach. Slowly rotate that open. And palm up, you can look out from under your arm but really press through the arm. So don't worry too much about forcing your chest down. Use that arm to almost like, imagining like it's kind of like a chain link. And bring it up, and let's take it on the other side. So I'm gonna take this leg out. So on this side now, I'm dialing my left sit bone down into the mat. I'm reaching my left arm up like someone's grabbing my hand and pulling me up, and just take it up and over. And just take a moment here to just kind of loosen up in this side stretch. Now inhale, reach, exhale, push. It's a little push out through that arm. And just imagine that as you're pressing that arm, that you're really feeling a chain reaction all the way down to the side, all the way down into your hips. All right, now from here, push that arm out, scoop the belly and slowly rotate the chest down. Kind of like someone punched you in the belly. And now rotate the hand. Let me see if I can get that in the video. So the palm is up, like you're holding a plate. You don't want to drop anything that's on the plate. <laughs> Scoop the belly in, push the plate out. And push. So even though this looks like a leg stretch, this should really be getting into your sides, bigger lats. And now here, inhale, reach. And slowly reach and rotate open. Open, 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 open. There you go. Again, inhale. Exhale, reach, push, 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 and scoop the belly and rotate down. And palm up. And reach the hand up. And slowly rotate over. There you go. And Okay, so now I'm going to go and take us into threading the needle. And this is another great one to stretch through your shoulder, shoulder blade and through the upper back and stuff. So, um,. I'll take it on this side first. Right here on the tabletop, I'm going to take this on my right hand and weave it through the space. And just this left hand that's supporting right here, just kind of adjust it to a, a, a position that you feel comfortable with. And now from here, just gently use so you can move that hand and gently push you open. Push open here. Feel free to work on that for a little bit. And then when you're comfortable, you can actually take this uh, left leg. Tuck, take it off the side, so I'm tucking the toe under. Sorry, see my under my foot. And then just use that toe. You kind of, I, I kind of push away from the toe, and use that to kind of really get into that stretch. Now from here, you can get a little deeper into it by slowly collapsing the knee down. So I don't keep it down; like I'll collapse it for a second, and then slowly stretch and push open. Just fine. And sometimes every time I collapse the knee, I twist a little deeper into it and push away a little more. Uh, and then one more time, you can bring the knee. I kind of twist until you're starting to see the my butt a little bit. <laughs> and then push. And then slowly bring it in. Oh, let's get that on the other side. So tabletop, weave the center. Take a moment just to kind of bring yourself out in this position. <laughs> so I'm kind of using this hand here a little, reaching this hand through enough so that I can kind of twist into it a little. And then when you're ready, you can take a foot out, kind of push away from the foot. Feel free to stay right here. If you want to add a little more, you can start to slowly collapse. And just as you're collapsing the knee, make sure you're still full, pushing the chest open. Lower. And one more. Okay. I'm slowly release. How am I doing all time? Okay, let's just get in one more. So from seated, you can just come right into this cross leg position here. Sit up nice and tall. Just bring one hand on the knee. I have one hand behind. Inhale, lift. 
like so gently push and twist the legs to the side and just like this. And now, I don't just twist, you can also twist and then you can start to soften this back elbow and lean back into it. See that? So you're not just sitting and twisting, you can lift and twist and then you can add a little bit of this. And then the other way. Inhale, lift, exhale. You can start lifting and then when you're comfortable, you can add a little bit of this. Kind of lengthening and pulling away. That's just like a nice little basic upper body uh, release that I like to do, so hopefully uh, it feels good for you too. Anyways, uh, great job day 10, and I'll see you tomorrow.